what's happening gas safety liner c2 here so as hopefully many of y'all are aware um i recently graduated from high school um and i actually just went down to georgia to go visit my grandpa and he gave me a pretty cool graduation present so yeah of course i'm here to show you what it is and uh yeah so we'll we'll go over pretty much everything about it so First off, stuff in this bag. Um, this is not the main thing. Here, I'll, I'll show you what the main thing is, actually, right in here. It's not this book. That. The Canon EOS Rebel XSI. That is my new DSLR. This is actually just a book to go along, um, try and learn some uh, not really basic, but learn it more in depth about how to work an actual DSLR camera and, um, you know, try and try and get more hands on, uh, become more of a professional type, um, photographer. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you the camera in a minute. It's pretty cool. Um, I really like it, but also included in that plastic bag was a poncho just in case. Uh, and I live by the scout motto, be prepared. So uh, yeah, and then a 32 gig SD card, uh, it's SanDisk if you can't read that, it's right there though, so, um, my grandpa, like I, like I said, my grandpa gave me this because he actually just got a new one, so he gave me a choice, he said you can either get a brand new camera, and the one that I was looking at was the Sony CS1000, that, that doesn't sound right. I know it was a Sony camera, though. I know that. Um, it, it was pretty nice. It was more compact than this one. But it wasn't a DSLR. It was more of a, a digital camera. Kind of like an upgrade from my other camera that I have. Like, way upgrade. Um, so he said I could either get that or I could get this one. And he said he had used this one. He had really enjoyed this one. And put a, a really good amount of money into this. So um, I said that I would go ahead and take this since... He did get a new one. So, um, I got this really nice backpack. I, I really do think this is a really comfortable backpack. And this is just a standard Canon one. Um, so, it's got this little, like, string pack thing up here um, that I can put stuff in. It's also got a zipper right here. And it goes down pretty deep, probably about a foot deep or so. Um, so, I can put whatever I need in there. And then there's also these two little side pouches held by Velcro on either side so now we'll actually get into it and i'll show you uh what is in here oh and um actually i, I forgot about this um there's a zip uh, like a more storage stuff right here so i can put you know just some real small stuff so there's like there's actually these little sd card holders right here um, so I got to put my SD card holders in there or my SD cards in there. Cause that actually just, I actually just realized what those were. So let's go ahead and open this up. So first off, I'll go ahead and show you, well, the camera itself. This is the Canon Rebel EOS, uh, XSI. This is the camera itself. It, you know, it's a little big, but, um, Hey, it's a DSLR. But the thing about this camera, and really, whenever I got down there, I really should have decided that I wanted the newer camera. It does not record video. Oh my gosh, it doesn't record video. But, thanks to some research on Google, there is software you can get. So, I can hook this up and use it as a webcam, but I'm not able to go out and take videos of just a bus or whatever. So, if you guys saw that Amtrain RE video that I put up... I tried, um, that was actually whenever I realized that I can't do video with it. I took it out there, and then I was like, oh, there's no video mode on here. That sucks. So I took the video with my phone, and I tried to get some pictures, but since it was really my first day messing with it, uh, nothing really went well. And I, I've used DSLRs before, but uh, my grandpa had already put his settings on here, and uh, it was it was like at 9.30 at night, so, you know, just whatever. So this is this is the uh, the uh, the XSI. It's got a uh, maybe three inch screen right here, as you can see. Some uh, controls right here. Um, 
viewfinder right there. Attachments, so I can put like uh, a flash in there if I needed, or or uh, a microphone if it was able to record video. And I've got the mode selection wheel right here, so I can just twist and uh, you know figure out which one, which mode that I want. It's also got a little connection for a tripod right there, and I do have a tripod. Uh, not not the most sturdy thing, but you know it it works. Um, I've also got some ports over here on the side. If it'll lift up, so video out, um, headphones. I guess I guess it's headphones um, or some sort of video in. I guess, and then a USB. And then over here, lift that up, and then I got another 32 gig. SD card in there. Putting that in the wrong way. I've used, I've used these a DSLR just like this. If you guys see my videos um, that I've used school cameras with, they are Canons. They're the Canon three uh, T3i, so they're pretty much kind of like this. So I do have a good general idea of how to use it. Um, but I'm still forgetting some stuff. And then there is a battery right there that just popped up. Push that down that shut and then there is a lens cover right here that I take that off and put a lens on there so that's the actual camera itself let's get into some uh, more stuff uh, some lenses this is the basic Canon lens that will go on there um, the uh, the size is 18 to 55 millimeters so this is just going to get me a normal standard shot, you know, nothing fancy, um, just no wide angle or anything, just just a real basic, basic lens. Um, so I'll put that on and show you real quick. Let's see, where's it? Come on, get on. Why is it not going on? Come on. I've had no problems with this one so far. I've actually had no problems with any of these. So that's this lens right here. So not a bad lens, but um, I will definitely show you my favorite one here in a second. So take this off, put the lens cover back on. Oops, wrong one. I actually had the right one on first. See, there's so many lens covers and it is made by Canon also, so if I look at, if I just read that, you can, there, there, it says Canon right there, you can't see it, and this also says Canon, so I just, I just picked up the first one, um, so, throw that in there, uh, I'll show you the other Canon lens that I have, this is a telescopic lens right here, and it's got this nifty little thing over here to kind of zoom in, uh, or get, uh, like, less in the light it's a 55 to 250 millimeter lens um so it can actually zoom in pretty far that's that's the furthest it'll go so that's actually um and that's on manual focus or auto focus so that can go in pretty far um i have used i've actually used both of these lenses um i really didn't find much use for this telescopic lens but um I was, I have been messing around with these lenses, and it does produce some really, really good pictures. I'm able to zoom in pretty far, actually, um, so I like that, and the details are super, super clear. That's what I love about this, um, this lens, so that's that, and I'll show you the final lens that I got, definitely my favorite one that I have. This is a Tamron wide angle lens and the size for this one is where is it i know it's somewhere around here uh 10 to 24 millimeters so this one is going to capture the whole picture plus more so um out of out of all of these three this one is definitely my favorite um i'm able to capture everything that i want to get um so put this lens on real quick so I definitely really really like this lens I'm like I said I'm able to capture everything it produces really good pictures just like the other two um, so that's that Let's see here I'll, I'll take a picture 
Okay, flash off. Here, let's just see what happens if I put the flash on. Let's see what happens in the video. Oh, no flash on. Okay. Um, there we go. This one should have it. Did you say cheese? Dang it. Yeah. Flash right there. So. Definitely really, really like this one compared to the other two lenses. Um, like I said, definitely my favorite one so far. And um, I really haven't used these lenses a whole lot. Um, I really haven't messed around with the camera a whole lot. But definitely in the future, um, I will be getting back to you guys on this, letting you guys know how it's held up in the time that I have had this. Um, there it goes. Okay, so in this backpack, I've got eight different storage containers, I guess, for the different lenses. So I have three of them for lenses, one of them for the camera, and then I put that the neck cord in one. Um, one of them, I hold an extra battery, um, which is not in, oh, it's not there. Um, an extra battery, so there are two batteries with this, so super, super useful. Um, this little yellow thing, some of y'all are wondering what it is, I'm sure. So that's the battery itself, so I just take this off. Um, and there are these little, you see that darker part right there? There's some little, like, um circuits I get yeah I guess they're circuits um, so if I if I am just kind of like leaving it in there they might get scratched so put this cover on zip it down not zip it down but tighten it down and then I've got a protector right there uh, I got an extra like an empty pocket thing um, here is the final SD card it's just another it's an 8 gigabyte this time but it's also a sand disk so um, put that one in the cover and then this thing I'm not exactly sure what it is but it goes with the wide angle lens I know that because they're both Tamron so I guess it just goes on here like this I'm guessing that's how it goes on so uh, I do have to figure out what that is I know it doesn't go like this I'm just putting it on because I can actually you know what it might actually go on like this um, I, I don't know. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here's something. Let's see. There it goes. Okay, so it goes like that. That's that's what it's supposed to be like. So, kind of uh, lessen the light again. So, nice, useful thing in there. Let's see, where'd I put the lens cover? There it is. So many lens covers, you know. So, let's see. I've got a few more things in here I'll show you guys. Okay, um, that's just literature. You guys probably don't care about that. I'll, um, you know, I'll show you guys these two cords, and otherwise I got a lens cleaning kit and books and stuff in there. These cables are proof that there I can record video on the um, XSI. These are video in and out cables, and this one is a USB right here. So not really this one, but more so this one. So I can plug this in to my computer or whatever I need um, while I have this one plugged in also and then I can pretty much record video I don't know how I need to figure that out uh, because definitely if I can record video and use it as a webcam oh